What's going on guys, unknown player here and today we'll be taking another look at Age of Triumph and this time Bungie dropped another teaser trailer for their third and final reveal stream happening this Wednesday of course before the event goes live next Tuesday and as expected this is definitely going to be the best stream. They're going to be going through a bunch of the new armor and weapon sets with their crazy looking ornaments too and Bungie definitely weren't lying when they said they saved the best armor for last. This stuff definitely looks ridiculous so let's take a look at it now. So first off they show this kind of cinematic shot in the tower, I'm pretty sure it looks familiar but maybe it's from the actual original game, let me know in the comment section if you recognise this or if it's something new. So moving on to the Crota's End raid section, this is where things get pretty crazy and definitely like a light show. We've got Crota's End raid gear of course, dressed up in the end of the lamp section and you can see they've also got elemental primaries, that of course is the raid pulse rifle that does do arc damage and you've got the auto rifle in the back does solar and the hand cannon, the word of Crota which I believe does avoid damage too. But they've definitely stepped up their game when it comes to the armor and especially the visual effects like the floating debris and all the glowing parts like this just looks absolutely incredible and i feel like every one of these events bungie always like raising the bar in terms of the visual effects and their armor like they always just look so crazy and really makes me excited for destiny 2 like i'm looking forward to see what kind of ridiculous designs they have in that game as well but yeah this is some awesome awesome looking gear so for me personally, I've got to say the Warlock is my favorite out of the three. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, but that Warlock just looks so cool. He's got these giant spikes on the shoulders, and he's got that kind of black void for the faces, like filled in with glowing lights. I always did love the original Warlock set, but this with the ornaments just looks so much better. You can't really see the Hunter all that much. He looks okay, I guess, but the Titan also looks very cool. He's got these like massive horns that grow as time goes on. If you kind of go through the animations, you can see they get bigger. And yeah, very, very awesome looking gear. This is just so over the top. Absolutely love it. So moving on to the next raid, King's Fall, we get a little bit of a glimpse at some of the ornaments in play here. This is the weapon, the auto rifle, the Anguish of Driston, and this actually has a slight design change to it. We've got the red design instead of the black or white. Of course, hard mode or normal, we're normally black and white, but this one is red with the blue lights coming from it. So this, of course, is the ornament in play here. And then look at the armor, we can see the warlock with his helmet, and again, very spiky and kind of animated and growing. It's just very strange, kind of abstract at the same time. But yeah, that is the warlock armor for the King's Fall. Now moving on we can see in the dark again even more glowy stuff and spikes it's just like a crazy light show we've got the crota's end titan on the left in the middle appears to be the warlock for the king's fall not too sure about that he's also holding the mythoclast with an ornament which we'll get into later and in the back there we've got the red warlock from the wrath of the machine raid because of course that gear set is also getting an additional ornament set next to the original and of course king's fall 2 is getting one added to it so next up we can see what is most likely the ornament for the No Land Beyond sniper which is pretty cool. Of course you know there are new exotic ornaments, No Land Beyond is one of them, I covered all of them in the recent video. But this appears to be No Land Beyond, I mean you can't exactly recognize it, but it's a very large and ugly kind of strange looking sniper so most likely No Land Beyond. And also there's suppression on the side so maybe it's going to sound different. And the armor is most likely the Titan from King's Fall with again the ornament applied. So in the next shot we can see the weapon probably most people are excited about, the Fatebringer of course, and this time with an ornament applied, so it's actually white now and gold, so a bit like an Amargo loot but gold now. We saw that colour scheme on the Vision of Confluence scout rifle in a previous shot, but now we can see it on the Fatebringer, so I guess that's proof that all the raid weapons have ornaments as well to slightly change them and make them white and gold. And of course the Warlock has got some cool new gear, this is most likely the Warlock Vault of Glass set when you put an ornament on it, and also his bond as you'll notice is actually a teleporter, so very cool little detail, and he's got little Vex tendrils coming out from his back. So next up we get a cool shot which definitely makes me very happy, the Vex Mythic class returning with its beautiful new ornament, making it kind of chrome and black. And of course it's being held by a hunter who's got a new ornament on his Wrath of the Machine armor. Again you can see bits of debris and like bits of red stuff floating around him so it appears to be a new animated effect with the ornament. But still really awesome to see the Vex Mythic class returning with of course its solar damage. And now they go on to say with artist Ian McIntosh who of course is going to be going through the designs of the gear and the weapons. And then the senior designer Josh Hamrick who's going to be going through the crew sport sandbox changes because of course in addition to all the flashy new gear they'll also be going through the buffs and nerfs to no land beyond and scories and sidearms and all the other changes like that. So moving on there's a couple of quick shots one showing the original classic fate bringer again showing that it does of course have an ornament which does make it white and gold but you can still have the classic version with that bronze theme if you want it to. Now when he does kill the titan if you look very closely you can see the Cirrus regime with its brand new ornament it's actually black and gold so you can get a short glimpse of it right there and then it also goes on to put out the dragon's breath with its new ornament the kind of tiger shark camo which again is like a tiger shark like you'd expect in one of those battleships but it's now on the dragon's breath which still is a pretty underused exotic but maybe they'll change it and make it a little bit better in the patch. 
And now the final shot is, of course, six Guardians looking at the Traveler with their new decked out gear. Now, in my opinion, again, i got to say the Warlock looks so, so cool. Even though I'm, of course, a Hunter as my main character, I do think in this trailer the Warlocks look the best. But I'm hoping there's some more cool looking gear for the Hunter. And also the Titan there, everyone's saying that it's like a Wi-Fi symbol on his pack. So very strange looking armor for sure. Let me know which is your favorite down below in the comment section. So that has been a showcase of a bunch of really, really awesome looking gear sets and ornaments coming in the Age of Triumph event. Of course, stay tuned right here. I'll have a video breaking down everything you need to know when the reveal stream drops on Wednesday. So stay tuned right here. Be sure to subscribe to get miss out. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.